Cowboy Saber 1000 here today. Monkey's hair. I don't know if you guys can see her because I can hardly see her. She's tiny. Well, you don't have your glasses on. <laughs> Not that blind where I can't see a person. Never know. We're just flogging a little bit. <laughs> Got the hurricane coming or mm. may come. <coughs> Heading for our way. It's heading right towards us, but even if it misses us, we're going to get some bad weather mm -hmm. um, in our power here lately, which it was doing good for like five years. Mm -hmm. And then here, just within the past six months, it'll go out for no reason. Like right now, it'll go out and come back on. Yeah, it's not raining. So, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go over here mm -hmm. to the generator. It's full of fuel. All right. No, because you want to. All right, we're going to turn the gas on. I told Monkey, I said, pull that and see if you can pull it. And she said, okay. And she was going, oh, I can't. And I was like, oh, don't tell me this thing sat here locked up. It didn't. No, thank goodness. She just didn't pull it. All right, we'll turn the key on. Battery's dead. So we're going to pull start it. Should start first time. First, we gotta choke it. There's a choke. When it starts, push that in. All right. What thing? Learn. What is that? <laughs> right here. Okay. Uh -huh. When it starts, you push that in. But when you first start it, you pull that out. Now pull that rope. Pull okay. it like you're. There's no tomorrow. Pull. Harder. Hear it firing? Mm -hmm. Pull faster, and it'll fire it up. Oh. See, if you pull hard, it'll start first crank every time. Alright, we're going to let that run for about 20 minutes, right? Yeah. If you pull it hard, It'll start first crank every time. And that should charge the battery up. That's pretty good, not bad. Yeah, but remember, I said when it starts, push this in, right? And you said what? I said this thing, I even showed you. Push that in like that when it starts. I walked away. She started and walked away, like she does on the lawnmower. She chokes it, starts it, and then runs it that way and goes, tractor's running fine. That's why I'm always putting spark plugs and stuff. At least I learned. Huh? At least it's learned. Yeah. But you need to learn that. Because someday I might not be able to pull that rope. And when we need it, you got to learn how to do that, right? Yeah. Okay. So, that's pretty much it for right now. We're going to come back with you. We may start the vet up. So we'll start the vet up maybe. So let that run a while and then we'll be back with you. Speak up, Mama. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna start this thing up. Then me and Monkey's gotta put a mantle in a lantern, don't we? Mantle in a lantern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotta put a mantle in a lantern. And then maybe fix the stove somewhat, huh? Our little cooking stove. Alright, Monk. I'm gonna reach in there and See if this thing will start up. I got a battery charger out here for the generator, but I let the generator run for half an hour and the battery didn't charge, so the battery's pretty well shot. I think it's an original or close to it. Just reach in. about five minutes keep that battery charged then we'll move on to the next project okay guys so this is the quiet part of this video you see down in there the mantle broke off the other one's okay now I got one pack here you get two of them in a pack uh, normally 
normally I just replace them both but seeing as how this we may need this I'm gonna try to just replace the broken one so that way I can have an extra one just in case it's normally just one breaks like that now these have been on here for well over a year so I'm surprised it lasted this long see all it is is you know that's it so that one looks like it's getting them ready right there but I want to try to leave it so like I said that way I have an extra one uh, it gives you that rip off thing you rip that off but still it doesn't open wonderful all right um, This thing was four bucks. I remember buying these things for 79 cents. Of course, it was back in what, 1922? But anyway, but uh, they go on sale, you can get them for 50. Then we're gonna fill it up, because it's empty. Because last time I used it, it didn't break the last time we were out. Because what I do is I usually hang this up in a tree as high as I can go. It gives off a great amount of light, plus, the bugs go up to it you saw me blowing bugs out and so if the bugs are going up to it then that means they're not down here bothering you so that's why I do that okay put that in there but this broke I set it down a little too hard and it broke off I would say it's about like that one but we'll see we'll go ahead and light this up but I'm just going to tie this on here And then, uh, then we'll light it. A lot of guys will just tie these on and go ahead and light them. But I burn it out first and then I light it. Because I've tried a couple times. Mosquitoes, I'm out in the backyard as you can see. A couple times I tried it like that. and um, As soon as I lit it, it kind of blew off. So... plus old school you know when I was a teenager we was always told to light them up first and let it get to its white then we got to fill it up this is the stove the Coleman stove um, it's got a seal I'll show you for the pump it's just a leather seal type thing and the pump you know it doesn't want to pump up because the seals bad I'll show you we'll get to that here in just a minute let me go ahead and get this burn up here Now, I think we're ready. We'll put the lid on, or the top and the globe on it. You can buy these globes, so if they break, you can you can buy them. Just make sure you get the right size. This has an igniter in it, and it usually works pretty well. Like that. Okay, so let's get this on here. They usually go like that. Doesn't really matter, just a matter of preference of how you want your handle. I always want my handle away from the the uh, knob over here. I got this from a buddy of mine. Uh, Monkey's got one just like it. Hers is dual fuel. Hers you can burn gasoline or the the uh, Coleman fuel which I got right over here and before I light that let's go ahead and 
But this thing will usually burn all night two nights in a row. And that's on high. It just and also it depends if it's windy, it might not last that long. But usually I only have to fill it one time during a camping trip. And our last camping trip, um, I burn it for what three nights on one tank of fuel. So Spilling a little bit because it's not my usual funnel. I got a little tiny white one that's perfect. And I think it may be in the camping gear. And I'm not, I'm not sure which bag. And this gallon of stuff here has lasted me a long time. Probably, I think, ah, that's good enough for now. I think this, this might be, I think it might be the second can since we've been together. Six years, well, six years in November. Sorry, I'm jerking you guys around. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. And, this is what we got to work on on that stove right there. So, I did that. I left it open for a few minutes before I came out to do this, so that way it would. Uh, let all the any pressure that might be in there because it's been hot so okay now there we go there it goes got a memory cord blinking hang on a second guys okay I think I might have the wrong memory cord in here I, I've only got just these few clips that we've done on here and it's it's saying I've only got 44 minutes it should be over two hours I think I put the wrong card in there but it's a card I don't know so anyway maybe I'm shooting in 4k I, I can't remember usually when I do these things when I'm on the stand, I'll shoot in 4K, but if I'm moving around a lot, I will not because in 4K, you can't use your active stabilizer. It's intelligent active, whatever, you know, your stabilizer. Um, so, anyway, this is good. This is ready to go. It will go out here in just a minute or so. Never could get a guy I knew. I never could get him to understand. Why he's like, why don't that shut off immediately? It should because there's still pressure in there, up in that tube. Yeah, but you shut it off. Well, whatever. Some people don't get it, right, guys? Okay, let me throw this in the trash thing over here. Little ashtray thing there. Okay, now what we're gonna do with this? This got dented. Um. It was underneath the, it was in the back of the truck and I scooted the seat back. And that's what dented that. As you can see, it's been in the rain a couple times. But, ooh, big dead spot. Well, I hope he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. I don't have anything to get him out of there with. Okay, so this is what we gotta fix over here. All right, see, here's the pump just like that one, but nothing, see? Nothing, so, oh, I gotta go get me a little screwdriver. 
Hang tight, guys. Okay. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. There's this little veil right here. Okay. That's what holds that in. And all you do is pop that out. Don't lose it. Because then you have to rig up something to keep this in there. And I know that because... Well, you can probably guess how I know that real well. Okay. Now, see? This little leather thing. They shrink up. Now, what you can do in a pinch... See that? What you can do, what I... Well, this is like the fourth time I've done this. Bend it back a little bit. Like that. And hold it there for a second. Or a couple minutes, whatever. And that, that spreads that out a little bit more. Then, see how it spread out? Then you push this back in here. It helps if you have a little bit of lubricant, tiny bit of oil. You're supposed to oil these things anyway. Down there on the bottom. All right, so it feels like it's pumping, so we're gonna put this back on. Sorry about the chainsaw noise in the background. Neighbors cutting down a couple trees. I would say since the hurricane's coming, they just want to make it safe up there. I done this, I think, last time we were camping. I did this. Now, let's see. Oh, yeah. Yep, and it's working fine. And it'll work fine for a little bit. Pull you back out again. You know what? Let's go ahead and fill this up while we're at it. Move my cigarette out of the way because this is really volatile stuff. Okay. Um, this is honestly the third time I've ever filled this thing. And when we go camping, that's used a lot. Mostly in the mornings because I usually cook on the fire. But remember, it does hold quite a bit though. And I never fill this clear full. Okay. Because. That lantern will set straight up. This just gets thrown inside there, and well, you know, I don't want any leaks. So I never felt clear full. Okay, now let's get this in here. this up uh, they say about 30 times I don't think I've ever went 30 times on it maybe 15 or 20 that should be enough to test it and I hear it okay now let's see <clears throat> get you over here where you can see something all right there we go this one the valve the valve is over here on this side there we go Now I usually let it burn for a couple minutes 
let it get warmed up. Put this down. Yeah, this is an old one. This one's, I, I think it's from the 80s, but. There we go. Can't remember, you're either supposed to put this up once it lights or down. I think it's down. Just kind of like a clean out too. You can spin this around and round. It'll help clean it out. But I think it's down. Instructions are up there. Right, now I'll shut this one off. There we go. And once it warms up, it'll burn blue like a stove. And you can um, you can pump it up while it's on. There you go. Okay, so this is in case we got to cook. Um, and I also have my propane, my little tiny one, in my backpack. So I got that one in case the power goes out. I should probably take this apart sometime and clean it. And this I will relieve the pressure on. And there shouldn't be nothing. Nope, nothing comes out. Cool. All right, now I'm going to let that cool down. I'm going to pack this back up. I'm going to take the stuff in the house. And I think I'm going to call that a day. Monkey was going to come out here with me, but her mom's got a nurse or somebody coming over. So she's in there waiting on her. She's late, so I went ahead and did this before it got too dark. And I think that's about it, guys, for today. Uh, I'll keep you posted when you know I don't know if the storm's even going to hit us I the eye the eye of the storm will be fairly close to us but it's not I don't think the eye is going to hit directly on us because we're only about 12 miles from the Gulf of Mexico we're 18 minutes driving so <laughs> so um, and we got to go through town to get on a straightaway to go over to Crystal River so that takes a few minutes so we're not that far um, but still, even if hits below us or above us, we're going to get something. But here on this hillside, really, um, the wind goes over top of the trees. It doesn't really hit us hard. So we should be okay. Um, we're not going to leave or anything like that. But, you know, we was here, Hurricane Irma. So was it Irma? Yeah, the, the last bad one we had, the one that set records or whatever. And it was windy, but on top of the hill, it was like 64 mile an hour sustained winds for like three hours. And here, I'm guessing maybe 20 miles an hour. So it wasn't that bad. So I'm not real concerned. You know, we got the cinder block home. I think we'll be fine. So yeah, um, and I'll keep you posted as things go go along. If it gets, gets really, starts getting really nasty you know I'll do some live streaming for you and do some more uh, filming for you but for today that's it just getting things ready I wanted to start the Corvette because I wanted to make sure the battery was still up in it which it was um, which is good but sometimes it, it'll go down and I've tested the battery twice and it tests fine so I think there's an intermittent parasitic drain if that makes sense I mean something's draining the battery sometimes sometimes it's not now I know every once in a while I'd go out and the blower motor be running like the heater motor I unplugged that so I don't know what's doing that but I don't think it's a battery like I said I tested it twice it tested fine so today I you know last time we started it remember I had to put the charger on it and I haven't had it started since then and then today you seen it started um, so but I want to make sure that battery's good and then tomorrow I'll charge the boat batteries because we got the generator you know 
that generator I think could run that whole house because they used to use her her mom and dad used it in their whole house before running central air and two refrigerators but I can't find the pigtail to plug into the dryer so the main thing I will use that for is a refrigerator to keep their insulin cool um, so and then I've got battery power and stuff for you know uploading videos and whatnot and then we've got our phones so I want to make sure I got enough battery power that's fine um, that's what we did on that one real bad hurricane that's how I was live streaming and I had internet people's like oh he's lying he's got electric he's on the internet well that's because I had inverter well I got like three or four of them but I used an inverter to plug in plug the Wi-Fi into so all right guys anyway thanks for watching I appreciate it so so far everything's fine it's calm right now it's hot the past few days it's been hot but it's been really calm it's been getting down in the low mid to low 70s in the evening so that's been nice um, so yeah uh, here soon I'm gonna have to get the uh, I got to take the John Deere apart find out why it's why it's backfiring to me it sounds like a bad valve you know crack valve or you know I don't think it's a bent valve it's not making any noises it's just backfiring out the exhaust so I think we got a valve not seating right so anyway guys I mean that thing's got a lot of hours on it I forget what year it is it's I think it's pushing I think it's pushing 15 years old or something it's got a lot of hours on that thing um, she bought it used with a lot of hours and she's had it for she had it when we got together so she's had it going on seven years so anyway guys that's more upcoming videos for you and uh, so stay tuned and don't forget to check out monkey I'm sure she'll be filming like I said we may not even get anything it could just peter out who knows but it's I'd rather have this stuff and not need it then need it and not have it ready Shea Bear, we met the man of legend golf for now and I thank you guys for watching appreciate it a lot and uh, y'all stay safe take care of yourself and we'll see you in the next one bye bye guys take care